Okay, I'm uh, using this um, reheating of this pasta as a, an excuse to try a new sauce. I'm going to make a, a semi-assassin's pasta here. This is um, this was properly boiled, you know, in the traditional way. So it's it's definitely a, a step away, at least a cousin of assassin's pasta. What makes what I'm going to try to do though is to uh, get that concentration of tomato uh, like the assassin's has, and I'm going to use this uh, passata di dottorini, which is a really sweet little, beautiful, yummy tomato. Okay, it may seem like sacrilege, but I've diluted that dottorini sauce about two to one. And then what you do is once you've got that sauce, you listen to this. Okay? So that sauce goes in a little bit, not too much sauce there. I've only used about a quarter of what I got in the bottom of that. And I'm not sure exactly how much that is, so a little bit of eyeballing going on here. What I'm going to do now is turn this heat up, max it out, so that that water boils away. And as that water boils away, it's going to continue to steam the pasta, and then the tomato sauce that gets left behind, and this is probably why they use tomato paste, but um, that sauce that gets left behind is going to start to uh, gather, gather into the pasta, and then it'll get these little brown crispy pieces on it. And um, this is essentially the same thing as with the assassin's, pa assassin's pasta, but there you start with uncooked, totally uncooked pasta in a big gigantic pan. <laughs> you know, that's maybe, I don't know, maybe from like here to here, big enough to lay your pasta in right out of the package. And then you, uh, you get it hot, you cook it in a little bit of oil, and then you add this... Uh, Add the tomato sauce. Uh, once this boiling goes away, you can tell when it goes from water boiling to the point where it's oil boiling again. Okay? So, let's give that a couple minutes. Shouldn't take very long. Overall, the pasta does take a little bit of attention because you don't want to burn it and you want to sort of try to catch it. You know, let it when the water boils away, you know, these, these are water bubbles of water vapor boiling off here. It's not the oil smoking. So this is now at a, at a temperature of the boiling point of water. And it will soon kind of be done boiling. And then I'm going to just leave it sit a little bit and boil at the boiling point of oil. And I'm going to add a little bit more oil here. Because that cooking the tomatoes at that oil boiling temperature. Okay, there's a little bit more oil. Now I'm using sunflower oil instead of olive oil. I use olive oil on my last, my very last go around. Because when you boil olive oil, you take away uh, all the health properties. If you boil it too long. You know, if you're just boiling it quickly, um, it, it loses a certain amount. Right? Now we have to turn that heat down a little bit. Okay, now we're in boiling oil. That's primarily boiling oil. And you see this little bit of brownness here? It's hot. That is what we're looking for. And on the assassin's pasta that's made from just pure pasta, not, not pre-cooked pasta like this, that, um, that gives it its sting. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get this a uh, little bit more of this mixture into it. I might just do this twice and just use this like tomato juice and drink it. Because it might be enough times. And since it's not a, a pure recipe anyway, it's a, you know, I'd say a first cousin, not a second or third cousin. It's a pretty close relative of the Stassen's pasta. But this is why I want to grill outside, because it's a messy process. Look at it sizzling and making this stove top all horrible. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get a, maybe get a lid on that. Not as fun to watch, but uh, I've got a cleaning job here to do. Oy. But, uh, yeah, with an, outdoor, with an outdoor grill, then you have the complete flexibility to be as messy as you want. And, cook in the old-fashioned. 
Okay, I'm going to turn down the heat and lift the lid because it's been enough time. And uh, and I did indeed uh, just drink that Dottorini, that uh, watered down Dottorini, um, Dottorino uh, sauce. See the, the little brown crispiness that's put here? Let me turn off this light, maybe you can see it better. See that? That's the uh, caramelization of the tomatoes going on there. It's not burned. It's a special thing. I don't understand the chemistry of it, but it's it's very good. So, um, that's it. That's um, assassinated second day pasta. I've done it before, and uh, I just love it. That's why I make extra pasta the first time around, because there's a, a thousand ways you can use a little bit of creativity and make a fantastic pasta out of it for uh, <laughs> several days. And it gets better every time.